is we're moving into a year that's symbolized by this. 2020 is a four year. Two and a two is four, obviously enough. So we're going to be playing a game, all of us this year, that's symbolized pictographically, hieroglyphically by this symbol. All right. We're not in the three anymore, the vertical or horizontal. We're in this box energy. That's what we're getting into. So to play it well is very different, right? The strategies from last year are not the same. Hi, Louisa. So this is now the point is to show you that there is a sacred patterning to these years and how to do it. So when we're in this four year, what it means, and this is where you might want to take some notes or just jot some things down for yourself. Because this is now a four year in 2020, it's a year to build a foundation. See the structure. It's a year to set up the order. It's a year to build the organization, to put the structure in place, to lay the foundation, to put the cornerstone, all right? This is what I recommend for you is your goal of the year. So whatever is your actual, let's say, tangible goal, I'm not sure, financial goals or relationship goals, let's say, I would encourage you to think of it as I'm going to set the foundation this year for my financial success, or I'm going to set the foundation for my relationship success. All right? That's the meaning of having a four as the card of the year. It's a year to build a foundation, to put the organization in place for you to manifest that or realize that in your life. Now, the pitfall to avoid this year is trying to force it, trying to force shoehorn everything into this structure that your mind thinks it should be, All right? Like forcing square pegs into round holes. This would be the pitfall to avoid this year. In other words, don't micromanage. Don't be perfectionistic about this structure or this order that you're wanting to see in your life. If you're trying too hard to make it according to your own egotistical expectations of what it should be, it's going to be really frustrating for you this year. It's going to be a frustrating year of thankless or seemingly thankless toil for trying so hard to put something in place to make it right. I'm going to force that square peg into that hole. It's going to go there. Damn it. All right. That's not going to be a fruitful way to go about it. So that's the pitfall to avoid. And let me just say that intuitively and instinctively, you're probably aware of and in tune with the fact that it is a year to build a foundation because we're all always aware of these energies, even if we are not able to articulate them. Okay, so you probably already instinctively are wanting to and trying to build order and a foundation and a structure in your life, right? That will um, give order to what's most valuable to you, that will put a structure for what's really meaningful for you, right? A structure for your relationship, like defining how your relationship is gonna be, right? For example, you know, investing in your financial return, right? Like this. But again, the danger is forcing it, insisting, being too demanding and like, I'm just going to use brute force and willpower to make it so. Right? So I encourage you to notice this year, if and when you're pushing too hard, trying to force too much. Okay. Be alert for that. See if you can catch yourself. Because if you do that, you're going to end up in a really frustrating place. It's going to be a pretty angry place to be in as well. You know, you're going to feel overworked and exhausted and overwhelmed by everything that you're trying to do. Okay. So the question then, of course, is how do we find this solution that we're looking for, this order, this structure? And long story short, it's by welcoming and surrendering to, let's call it, 
life's plan, the divine plan. I say life. I don't like to use any of these religious type words. Life, the plan of life. So it's about recognizing and allowing and accepting the order and the structure that life wants to bring us for the goals that we have. So there, there is a dance, right? We have this intention. We're going to build this thing that we want to build. And it may turn out like this. Or it may be like this, right? It may be different than how we first thought of it. And it's important that we're flexible and spacious and expansive enough to allow life to settle into the order and the rhythm and the structure that life wants it to be, not what our ego wants it to be. Very important that we're not pushing and shoving against reality itself, that we surrender to reality, surrender to what is. We can never fight reality. It's a losing battle. So allowing life to bring the order and the structure that will be the best for us. And one of my own prayers, which I share with you now, is I'm often saying, please bring me what is for my highest and greatest good. Please bring me what is for my highest and greatest good. Because often we don't know. Right? We think we know, but we don't actually know what is for our highest and greatest good. So that's an important mindset and heart set to have as we go about building the life that we want. Please bring me what is for my highest and greatest good with regards to my relationship, with regards to my career, with regards to my finances, with regards to my life. Please bring me the highest and greatest good of order and organization and structure that will serve me the best for my year, right? Something like that. So I invite you into that mindset as you're building this year, okay? So now I wanna shift in 